Okay, so we are here on my garbage ship. I never actually used the FTL drive, did I? <laughs> Return to Esther at the Ark? Yeah, let's let's go back. Let's go back to the Ark. I don't actually know if my uh, my motorbike has respawned yet. I don't know if I actually care that much. Let's see. It's Christmas, so Santa's at the outpost. Oh, I'll have to I'll have to take a look at that. See if let's see if my uh, motorbike has respawned because that actually would be super helpful. Let's see, especially because my Pokemon are dead. <laughs> hey, motorbike works. Oh, bu bip, bu bip. Okay, apparently this thing has uh. Huh. What the? What? What the? What the? You can do this? <laughs> Driving! I... Uh... <laughs> Where's Santa Claus? I want Santa Claus! <laughs> In today's news, some drunk bastard decided to drive his hover bike into the outpost. More at seven. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know it could do that. I don't see Santa Claus. Uh, is he anywhere specific or... I assume it's since it's not actually Christmas yet. Uh, he might not be here. But that was magic in a weird, dumb manner. Oh, hey, I can buy bandages. I probably don't want to yet. Let's see, the Escapist DLC Santa's Sweatshop is apparently a thing. Yes! Unfortunately, I got really bored of uh, the Escapist. After, like, a couple runs of it, you just kind of realize it's the same game over and over and over again. I wouldn't mind going back to it someday, but I'd need, like, more people or something. Because, like, as it stood, it was just kind of boring. Oh. Oh. I could buy the small bo bulldozer. <laughs> Silver Lightning's Cloud. Only the pure of heart, it's just a smoke machine on a hoverboard. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to buy all of these. There's a boomstick, a saucer, the economy bike pod, which I've been ri riding around on. I don't know, it's super tempting to buy the, buy the bulldozer. Let's buy the bulldozer. You'll see why you want that in a little while. Okay. Oh, now that is, that's a Christmas game I could do. Yeah, I, I might see if uh, I can get Durr for, like, Viscera cleanup. I don't know if he's going to be around. We'll see. But yeah, I've always wanted to do a Viscera cleanup. Game. So let's go back to Esther. Let's go do the dungeon. Or at least pick up the next dungeon. Because I might as well make some progress there. Okay, so you did it. That was the last clue we needed. I just know where, uh, I know just where the Florian Artifact is now. The clues you collected reveal that the Florian Artifact is enshrined at the Ceremonial Hunting Caverns. Judging from what I found out, you'll need to compete in a ritual hunt to get it. I've given Sale the coordinates you need. Be careful. Let's see, but the farm. Now, so what we're going to do is a bit of story, and then we're going to go work on the farm. I've received coordinates for the ceremony hunting, uh, ceremonial hunting caverns. Use the mission interface to access the location. Zoop. That's my bike. I don't want to do that. All right, beam up. Let's see. So what do we have? I've got my magic. I put away the eyeball. I, yeah, we should probably clear up my inventory a bit. Oh, no. I should probably actually sell some of this garbage. Oh, I got a teleporter core. That is useful. Uh, yeah. Let's, let's go back to the... Let's go back to the Ark for a second. I'll just go find something to sell. Let's see. Could I make the farm in my ship? That's the plan. Uh, the main thing is I need to go find a couple of things before I can do stuff. Oh. Fun fact, all Christmas things are still in the game data, so you can still spawn them in, even if it's not Christmas. Huh. Makes sense. Okay, so we want to sell the boomerang, because I'm probably not going to use that. The idea of the boomerang is cool, but the actual execution... Eh, up to debate. 
Okay, other than that, sell the flares. I'm not going to be using them. I've got two Pokeballs, but they're injured. Okay, so let's just sell all that stuff. I've got a little bit more money at the very least. Okay, but yes, I, I can... Um, I can make my ship into the farm. I was kind of hoping that I could actually pay to upgrade the ship. But I don't know if I can. Anyway, find the artifact in the hunting grounds. Uh, let's put away the Pokeballs for the time being. I'm not going to be using them. Or the rope, probably. Or let's put away the Arceus Eyeball. No, let's keep the Ar Arceus Eyeball with us. It's valuable enough that we might have a use for it. Alright, yeah, let's give this a go. Here. Missions. Dreadwing. We can go back to fight Dreadwing. Uh, no. Let's do that after the ceremonial hunting grounds. It'll probably give me another another item, maybe. And then we'll be good to go. Okay. Yeah, I'd like to fight Dreadwing. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Someone needs to make a Wanderbot sail chip. I could actually give kind of some art for that. I don't know if it would be the most useful, though. Mostly just be, like, my face and one... Oh, right. They're not actually going to attack me. They're going to attack me for at least a little bit. Now, I could use the elevator system. Or I could just teleport. We still haven't found the gold. Technically, uh, it would actually be better for me to go get the rollerball move first, but... Meh. Okay, uh, oh, right. Did I cause him to bleed with fire? Well, I, I mean, I guess it makes sense. Making, making someone... On fire bleed is like you kind of cauterize the wounds, but there's a lot of open wounds going on there. So it's not like that. Ow! These guys are going to be a little bit hurtier than I'm used to. Oh, and there's also those things. Got to watch out for the spikes. Luckily, I'm more or less just able to shell people from on high. Makes, uh, <laughs> makes this whole business easier, except for when I set myself on fire. There we go. Let's see, yeah, we have a lot of these things here. Ah, treasure chest. This is so freaking useful. It took me a little while to to finally get used to used to this. Can I can I break those? No, I think I have to. No, you you cannot get rid of the the spikes on the the ceiling at all. Ow. Oh, there's spikes. There's spikes there. I didn't even see them. Probably for the fire. Let's see. Anything down there? No. Just just spikes and maybe water. Oh yeah, I do have a new uh new portrait pack. Okay, Nuru Youngest champion in the history of the hunt. Gotta say, this is pretty impressive, or at least it will be if you don't get ripped to shreds. Here. The Florians spend years honing their powers, like a skilled craftsman grinding a spearhead. Then they mostly die. Anyway, anyhow, good luck. I actually like the new... The new portraits. That, uh, that this mod adds. I think it actually looks quite nice. Uh, let's see. Yep. There's like a little nibbly critter in there. Not for long. If I have my way. Luckily, there's no fire underwater. Makes it a little bit easier there. Okay, so what else we got around here? There was actually a platform up here, now that I think about it. Aha! Aha! Yeah, you don't need rollerball when you're me. 
All you need is the teleport gun. Seriously, that teleport gun is like the most broken thing ever. Retrospect, I should not have done many of these things. But that's okay. I can... I can... accept the consequences of my actions. And set fire to everybody else. <laughs> oh man, this is... Uh, awkward, but I like it. This game... I like the different combat styles in this game. They feel nice and pleasantly different. And also magic is just like the most scummy thing I, I've ever encountered in one of these games. Like it is just not fair what I'm able to do do to this. Yeah, this is why I wanted to go here. The uh, Florian starting, not the Florida, Florian starting zone, the Florian dungeon has a ton of seeds that are actually like worth stuff. Now, is this just a shortcut? No, there's a chest up here, too. Yes. Another random mask. A vicious mask. Well, should I change my my outlook on life, or should I keep being this, like, weird horse-headed maniac? I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's anything up here. There's those spikes on the walls. It's usually for a good reason. Ow. Uh, have I taken more damage from fighting, or...? Eh, screw it. I think I've taken more damage from falling damage, uh, from falling than I have from actually, like, combat so far. Let's see. Yeah, let's, let's just blitz through this. I could find more treasure, but, uh, unless any of it's, like, actually uniquely helpful, not a whole lot of reason. Ow. Ow, fire. Ow, fire. Oh. They're incapable of making the jump. Yeah, I think I think I have been the uh sole source of harm for myself for most of this this dungeon, and probably the previous one. So what do we even have down here? Kind of more of the same Oh! Oh wait, no, that's that's just slime. It's supposed to be acid, I believe. However, since I don't really get affected by acid, I can just do whatever I want. It strikes me that I'm not actually killing anyone. They just teleport back. Okay. Now, is this something I interact with? Oh, this is the... This is this area. All right, anything in here? Anything in here? Hey, automato seeds. Actually useful. Okay, and she's back. Now, I don't remember there being anything good in there. And honestly, it's just it's just more critters. Hey, over it. The, over here. I can't believe you made it this far. But now you're stuck. You're stuck. The phrase slow clap springs to mind. Here, I can o I can open that. Thanks. I think we're close now. I hope you've worked up an at appetite. For some reason the font for this game is one of those fonts that like I cannot read. Uh well. You're just going to All right. Nope, oh, that guy has a gun. Had a gun. It's kind of a shame I don't get to keep any of this, but that's okay. Yeah, I'd like to get some acid ones now that I think about it. If I could get some acid ones, we'd be unstoppable. Alright. Up. Oh. There we go. Anything in the barrel? 
Not overwhelmingly. All right, let's see. As usual in the realm of scummy jerk tactics, eat, eat rock. <laughs> oh, I don't get EXP if they're killed by rocks. That's unfortunate. On it. That sucks. I'm disappointed. Okay, I apparently need to read this. What is going? What is what is this? Okay. Twas the night before Christmas, and all throughout the stream, not a hengebot was stirring, not even a blaze. The moderators were sat by the chimney with care, in hopes that St. Birdcatcher would soon be there. The subscribers were all nestled, all snug in their beds, while visions of Batbeard danced in their heads, and Shell in her kerchief, and wandered in his cap, had settled down for a long winter's nap. That is... That's adorable. <laughs> we have a Christmas carol. Sort of. I guess, is that a carol or a poem? It's a poem. Oh, we actually have another... Da. Ah. We're actually... Okay, I should probably heal. Yeah, I keep hurting myself with fall damage here. Is that good? Nope. There we go. Got it. Not that we actually need any of this stuff. Uh, is there... I think that's a secret way in that I, I don't care to use. But that's that's fine. And yes, I know I know that it is based on the night before winter. That I have I have celebrated Christmas before. I'm I'm quite aware. I don't really celebrate it anymore. It just stopped being a thing. Somewhere between my parents realizing that giving gifts was hard and me moving from like halfway across the country to the other halfway across the country, it just kind of loses, loses its luster. Hard to have Christmas traditions when you don't really have people to celebrate Christmas with. Not that it's a big deal. Oh, hey, it's time to fight a big old spider. This is m much bigger than last year's prey. Finally, a proper challenge. You wanna continue? No? All right. This is gonna be fun. Oh, good. I can just explode it. This poor thing is supposed to be challenging, I guess. I, I, once more, I think I'm going to be the most dangerous part of all of this. Ah. There's a lot of fire, admittedly. I should probably stop for a second. Let's, let's just use... Eye lasers. Let's use eye lasers until the fire is gone. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah, the little critters are the most dangerous part of this fight. As I don't necessarily have an easy means of dealing with them. Okay. Yeah, I like the eyeball, but the eyeball does not have the, uh... The eyeball does not have the... Range? Nor the, uh, efficiency that I'm looking for. I'd like to find a different, uh... Set of magic equ equipment, though. Wonder could cheese this with EXP. Yeah, I could. It, they're not really worth a whole lot, though. It's like 5 EXP per per little guy. Ultimately, not really worth it. Okay, so did we get something cool from him? It is two-handed weapon. Yeah, that's worth it. Gross. I can web shot. You know, is there anything over here? I don't remember there being. I think it just stops you if you try and go too far. Yeah. 
I think I just took more damage from that fall than I did from the entire boss fight. <laughs> Sacred hunt is over. Sacred bone is yours, champions. That was the most fun I've had in ages. Felt good to have some someone around who can hold their own. Horse. In fact, congratulations. You've I've just decided your trophy comes with one free new 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 new. I don't know. Wander Wander can uh shot web now, and I also get a key. So I I assume she's supposed to like join us. Maybe maybe not. Oh. Okay, Nuru has joined the outpost. Oh, right, she hangs out next to to the old lady. I remember now. We found a book. The Ixodum and Analysis. It's the biggest Ixodum I've ever seen, sheathed in sheets of bone as thick as a tree trunk. Kish and I were deep in the mountain by the time we found it, hidden in the darkness. It must be 200 years old if it's a day. Kish is sure it's about to reproduce. I have no reason to doubt it. It's certainly mature enough. And Kish is the authority on Ixodum. It's going to take a team of 20 to bring it in safely. I've already spoken to Maper, who thinks it's doable. Though, Maper is always pretty optimistic. I'll take all the Wranglers to its nest tomorrow. We've got two days to get it to the ceremon ceremonial hunting caverns before it starts to spawn. Right, and then we got some random guff that I don't really care about. Anyway, zoop. I am stiffer than I thought I'd be. Woke up early again. I gotta stop doing that. It's kind of sucks. Well, let's go back to Esther. She'll t tell me to do whatever. What does she have? Hey, a champion. Oh, hey, champion. A guy asked me to a gladiator arena tournament, but I think you should go instead if you're feeling tough. Talk to me, and I can send you there for the first round. Sure. Uh, we'll do that in a bit. Alright, so we get the Bone Trophy. It's an EPP augment. Oh. Immunity to Electrified. That's really good, actually. Excellent. You did wonderfully. We're one-sixth of the way there, dear. Nothing to sniff at, and now we have Nuru to help us, too. We should start work on finding the Hylodal artifact now. Search around Temperate Stars and hunt for clues and planets with vast tracts of ocean where the Hylodal reside above and below the waves. Come back here when your search is complete. And look after yourself. Let's see. So let's let's give the arena a go. I I should be fine for this. Between my usual scum, I think we'll be fine. Okay, never mind. These guys are a bit tough for me. I am I am not fine at all. Okay, well that's that's okay. How much low on pixels, but that that's okay. We don't even have an EPP yet, now that I'm thinking about it. What do we even need to make one of those? Breathing EPP. I need oxygen canisters. Glass isn't so bad, but yeah, let's uh let's go on a trip. Looking for something with a... What's this? Is that the outpost over there? Could be. Could be something else. Well, considering this cost me no fuel, I'm just going to fly around. We're looking for a um, an asteroid belt. Okay. Ancient Gateway of Unknown Providence. Let's... I've never... What is this? I assume this just brings me back to the outpost, maybe. No, never mind. Opened with a vault key. So this is post-game stuff. 
I okay. Yeah, I've never I've never seen that before. Let's see, you need to get the Triton sub controller. I only have two thousand pixels. I'll have to do that later. Okay, edit bookmark. Let's call it Vault One. Why is the UI wiggling so much? I don't know. Okay, so let's just check the anomalies. That might be might be interesting. It's the original way to get to the outpost, but now it's that. Okay. Yeah, I, unfortunately, I've only played, like, sandwiched in between, so there's a bunch of, like, weird features that I've... that are either new or old that I've missed. And I don't entirely know... Uh, what all is entailed. But that's okay. Dude on the balcony in the outpost will trade you a key for random materials after I beat the rune. Got to know. Uh, good to know. Unfortunately, after beating the rune, I'm not really... Hmm. I don't know. I kind of wish games like this would actually... Oh. We have hostiles? Unfortunately, I'm not very maneuverable. So the best... The best thing I can do is pretty much just fly around and try not to... Try not to die. Okay. Only maybe a couple enemies left, though, if we're lucky. Okay. Okay, no damage from that. We still have more enemies, though. Now, is this all just moon rock? Meteorite rock. Okay, bad time to click off the game. Take that. Okay, I think it's dead. It stopped shooting at me at the very least. There it goes. Okay, so I'm gonna... I'm just gonna grab my stuff and come back. Or beam up and then back. Mod that removes the mech hat so you can have any hat on a mech. I just want a mech that, uh... I just want a mech that... That, uh just encloses around me. The fact that I'm just sitting around... Uh, the fact that I'm, like, sitting around on top of one just bugs me. I want to be inside of it. I I think I actually have a mod that uh, makes it so some of them look cooler. I think there was a shark mech that looked really cool. Okay, it's worth a fair amount of EXP. Unfortunately, there's like a half billion little enemies along the way here. Okay. Does it lose interest in me? Ow. Got me. Okay. think. Okay, I got that one. I gotta watch out for it. Oh, and the sentient meteorites. Okay, I'm just gonna stay away from the guns. I might die before I can deal with all these suckers. Let's beam up. Okay, that's a lot of them. Yeah, this stock mech is terrible. This is like pre-stock mech, because Fracking Universe nerfs them. Unfortunately, I think I needed Tungsten to, to get the upgrade. 
Yeah, this is part of the reason why I haven't started messing with the uh, the farm yet, because we need raw resources for like a whole hell of a lot of stuff. Um, but I kind of wanted to upgrade the the starter mech. Because if I can upgrade this, then we can go flying, go into asteroid fields, not have to worry about stuff, and do some, like, crazy mining shit. I wonder if the, uh... Are the enemies respawning every time I enter the area? New. There's one benefit to this entire situation. They do not, they do not respawn. So I can more or less throw my face at the wall. Lost him. Okay. Those turrets are mean. They're everywhere, too. Oh, it's okay. Let's go back again. And yeah, they also do give really good EXP. Let's see. Well, do we... Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the outpost for a second. Let's let's see if I can uh, get an upgrade for this ship. I kind of wish I could craft the parts. Unless I can. I might be able... I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, if I can if I can even just get like a movement speed upgrade, that'd be amazing. Mech modifications. Three shiny diamonds. And we'll get a mech modification. Okay, that's useful. Okay, so this is customization. We don't have anything that can be switched in. Yeah, titanium bars, durasteel bars, titanium. Titanium, Durasteel, Solarium, Tungsten. But we need the basic mech boosters. Oh! Okay, well at the very least, I can get... Is it just me, or is this, like, really small? Do we get better blueprints? Well, at the very least, let's grab my, um... Grab my boosters for a second. At the very least, I can upgrade to the stock mech boosters. So that gives me a little bit of maneuverability. Not much else. But it's a hell of a lot better than what I had. All right, let's let's go back up. Let's see, you do unlock more blueprints. Okay, cause yeah, I was I was looking at that. And I'm like, that is, there's nothing there. Let's see. So we want to go deploy mech. Let's see if I go faster. Mech blueprints are commonly at other ships, both hostile and friendly. Good to know. All right, I already feel a lot better. But yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna finish this area off, and then I'm gonna see if I can go find an asteroid belt. Let's skip the uh, let's skip the basic enemies that aren't a threat to me. Kind of wish the uh, the. The top UI would actually go away when I'm flying. But yeah, at least I can dodge now. Which is more than I could do a little while ago. I'm gonna go low. Okay. But yeah, just having these actual stock mech booster, uh, the stock mech booster as opposed to the the junky one that they give you. 
uh, the junky one they give you when you first get this mech is... Right, these things don't generally ram me. I'm gonna take some damage on these. But at least I can kind of catch up with them, maybe? No. more shots and they go down. And these guys have energy for me. There we go. Okay, we're back. Let's see. This looks like kind of an interesting little facility at the very least. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna mess with too many of the enemies outside. Doesn't look like we've got um, defenses either. See, what's this? Hardened carapace. Chronic extract. May be worth noting, this celestial body, body has no atmosphere and you will die without some sort of something or other. Gotcha. Just looks like some kind of dead facility. Just hoping I could get a little bit more out of this, but whatever. Oh wait, these lockers might have things in them. There's a couple of parts, nothing else. Bunk beds, fan, I can sleep my, like, a little bit of HP back. Yeah, it doesn't look like there's really anything else here. Yeah, because that's just a plant. Alright, we leave. I was hoping there would be more lootable little things there, but, oh well. Okay, uh, let's let's see if I can go find an asteroid field. I might actually have to go to a different location. Now, are asteroid fields obvious, or if, or am I going to have to go to a completely different star system for this? It's not a big deal, one way or another. Like, I don't know if it's an asteroid field around the star, or a planet. That's the main question. Well, I could go to a moon. Plutonium and Telebrium. Huh. I should probably go to a moon. Okay, it's around a star, so we're gonna want to leave. Okay, so I'm just gonna... I'm just going to deploy my mech. Now, I, I will be full up and honest about this. I think I turned off the ghost. So we might not, uh, we might not be haunted here. Like, the idea of the the ghost is kind of a neat idea, but I'd rather have, like, moon moon aliens that, like, really come after you. Simpler to just buy the fuel from the... Infinity Mart. That's a good point. Um, I'm kind of poor right now. I should probably get that Ronin mech, the the one that I killed the final boss with. That thing was great for mining. It was just like, see an enemy? Uh, or not see an enemy, see, uh, see something you want to mine? Uh, point yourself at it and then destroy. Telebrium is a strange crystal that conducts energy. Withstand concussive force. It's useful for many purposes. Okay. Uh, part of the reason why I came down here is I want to see what Telebrium was. Because I have not, I have not seen that in this game before. I'm fairly certain it's not uh, immediately useful, but who knows? Let's see. I will admit I do like uh, using this mech for getting around. It 
does make uh, being on the planet a lot easier. Now we might actually run out of oxygen here, now that I'm thinking about it. I should probably make my way back for the surface. I guess we weren't too far away from it, but still. I could make my entire ship out of moon rocks. That'd be funny. Let's not do that. All right. Well, this should be uh this should be enough fuel. There's also an asteroid field around the planet. So if you build up really high, you can reach the asteroid field. Huh. I guess it makes sense. Did that work? I guess I guess that worked. I assume that worked. Okay. Uh let's zoom out. What do we got? Gentle star. Gentle, gentle, gentle. Oh. It's telling me... Okay, so this one has asteroids, which is real tempting. I didn't realize I could actually scan for these things. So we're looking for ones with asteroids on them. Okay, that has one. Also a gentle star. I guess let's just go for the one nearby. I only used 67 fuel. We'll have to look around for some more. But yeah, if I can go if I can go mine out an asteroid and get a bunch of like tungsten and whatever. That'd actually be super helpful. Okay, so there's the asteroid field. How do we go to it? Oh, I just plonk myself in the center of it, don't I? What's this thing? Huh, a food distribution station. That's cool. Now, does this count? I hope this counts. All right, looks like we're good. Of course, nope, it, it does actually have some of the resources we're looking for. I just don't know the quantity. Because, yeah, I know we need tungsten for stuff. Ideally, I'd like to find a vein as opposed to just a flat-up nothing. There's like a little bit here and there. This this is a stupid asteroid. A tougher asteroid. Hmm. Yeah, I might have to just go do some, like, interstellar piracy for a while. Yeah, because I was hoping I could do space mining, but if this is going to be the way way that it is, it makes it a bit harder. Okay. It's very good EXP, though. That's something I've been very happy about this entire time. That's really good. Okay, piracy is profitable. Hell yeah, it is. Yep. I made friends. I made a lot of friends, actually. Holy shit. Uh, I guess I shouldn't have hit that little blue thing. Turns out it pisses these things right off. Wow. Okay, don't want to do that. All right. Does anybody know how to make the basic ship blocks? Because that's one of my uh, big issues here. And I guess I could always just make my ship out of, what, iron blocks? That'd be goofy. I 
make it out of maybe tungsten? 